Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashikal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of politics and reacting to some interesting feedback from the UN speeches. And, um, you know, we did a little bit of Prime Minister Modi's speech. We did a little bit of Imran Khan's speech. So if you haven't done that, check those out on our homepage. Um, but this is, there were a couple countries that started to speak against India and countries that used to support India. And so it was a little bit of a surprise. And so this video is kind of a little bit of analysis about their speeches and why. Why now? Yeah. So let's start it up. Video was made by news and other things. If you want to support it. Yep. So Malaysia and Turkey going against you. India was a huge surprise at the United yeah. Nations speech. Um, you know, we know Pakistan has always had issues in China, but Malaysia and Turkey have always been kind of friends with India, and so this was a huge surprise. You know, China's always done tactical kind of things and brought stuff up to the UN to resolve stuff, um, but Turkey and Malaysia now have, are fully supporting Pakistan yeah. in this, and um, now tensions are kind of rising between India, Malaysia, and Turkey. Um, India plans to curb imports from Malaysia and meet with Turkey's neighbors. So let's hear what they had to say at the UN. Now, despite UN resolution on Jammu and Kashmir, not, the country country. has been no. invaded and it's occupied. Part of India. One of the problems to which the international community fails India to devote enough attention is the Kashmiri conflict, yeah. awaiting a solution for 72 years. The stability and prosperity of South Asia cannot be separated from the Kashmiri issue. Despite the resolutions adopted by the United Nations Security Council, Kashmir is still besieged and 8 no, million goodness, people are still there. stuck in Kashmiri. They cannot uh, get out. Turkey opposed India's inclusion to nuclear suppliers group and after speaking against Turkey, after speaking against India, Turkey is now building warships for Pakistan. Um, Pakistan, Turkey, and Malaysia want to start their own TV channel educating people on Islam. So why are they with Pakistan? Is it because of economic reasons, humanitarian, or strictly on religious grounds? So let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. Well, it doesn't look like economic grounds because no. India obviously gives more Does way than more Pakistan. Trade. Yeah, the trade value is so much bigger from Pakistan for both countries. So humanitarian, well, Malaysia hasn't said anything about Turkey's offense in Syria, referring to Jammu Kashmir as a Muslim land and harboring a controversial in Zakir Nikki. So Turkey historically has had many wars with many of its neighbors. Yeah. Um, so that can't be it either. Continuous conflicts with Cyprus and uh, you know, they're saying they have to stand with them. So religious grounds, well, that might have a say because yes. there's a, a large uh, majority are Muslims and Sunni, Sunni Muslims. Muslims yeah. And um, they've had historical right, human rights violations against other Muslims. So, you know, that's interesting. And uh, right after Turkey's speech against India, now they're invading uh, Syria and the UN had to slap them with sanctions. You know, just human rights blame Turkey for killing hundreds of civilians. And, um, you know, their Turkey military leader launched operations in Syria to end the rule of Syrian president. You know, you don't talk like that about no. somebody else's they, president. They killed a bunch of children and women too. And yeah. They killed more children than women. Yeah, and no one forgets the Armenian genocide. Like, that's. Yeah. And, some of this history of Turkey and there's more, you know, is it fair to teach human rights when when is, India hasn't invaded anyone? Yeah, India hasn't invaded anyone. So, and has India done favors to them? Like, 150,000 Indians are contributing to their technology. 30 plus doctors in Malaysia have been educated in India. Like, you know, before Malaysia formation, many security forces were trained in India. You know, it's just, you know, they know India is diverse. Over 200 plus million, majority of them are Sunni Muslims. That's so, a lot. Knowing that, they're still going against India. That's crazy. It is crazy. You know, is religion really making them blind? So, please support India's actions. 
you know, you can already see the results. Um, you know, Turkey's getting sanctions slapped on them, and you know, India is going to, you know, do trade with some other countries and not so much with Malaysia. And is that really what they want? Yeah. You know, over religious grounds. You know, and do please do support Modi G and his actions against this. Yeah, this was kind of interesting to see. Like, why Malaysia and Turkey all of a sudden, out of nowhere, seems Start like. going with Pakistan because of their religion. Yeah, and it definitely seems religious grounds because the yeah. trade value and, you know, they like you said, they've done stuff to help, done stuff to help. each of these countries either gain their freedom, to get new technology, yeah. you know, lots of trade. And yet, security regions. Yeah, and yet you would choose to another country. It seems mainly just on religious grounds, and yeah. that's not really what it should be about. You know, yeah. you it shouldn't. You know, don't make have religion make you blind. You know, you need to do what's best for your country and the people of your country. And you know, we want peace for everyone. We want everybody's yeah. country to do well. Pakistan, Malaysia, Turkey, India, we want them all to do well. We want peace is the answer in our in our books, but if this is the way it's going to go, you know, you're going to fight with India, you're going to side with Pakistan, then if that's how you want it, then we and you guys should support Modi ji and support India and yeah. buy stuff that's made in India. Don't buy stuff made in other countries that are not supporting you. If they're not supporting you, you know, it's not, don't feed them if they're not going to support you. Yeah. India is a wonderful country. It has so much diversity and they do so many great things. So just, we support you yeah. in everything and, you know, keep on with Modi G. He's on the right track and, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully things will turn out good in the end. Um, but if, if you, if you do not feel that the things you're buying, the things you're watching, the things that, are, you know, you're doing, if it's not supporting your country, you know, just like you said. So I hope you guys like this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.